Hello everybody, this is Dr. Ben Lim, and in this series, I'm talking to you about the seven names of God. And one of the names of God is Jehovah Rapha. I love this word because Rapha means He heals. Someone say with me, Jesus heals. Jesus is the healer. Our God is the healer. He does not delight in the saints being sick or infirmed. That's why Jesus came on the scenes, as we see throughout the stories of the Gospels. And Jesus healed every infirmed person. That is the power of the Gospel. Wherever Jesus went, miracles flowed. The lepers were cleansed, the blind saw, the deaf heard, the lame walked, and people received forgiveness. The Bible says in Psalms 103, that as He heals of us of all diseases, He also forgives us of all of our sins. Isn't that incredible? Healing and forgiveness of sins goes hand in hand. That is the gospel. Jesus loves to heal. He is the healer. If Jesus did not do it in His earthly ministry and life, then why would God want it every day. If Jesus did it, it's meant for our everyday life. And let me tell you, He is Jehovah Rapha. This word is released here in the book of Exodus 15, 26. He is the God that healeth thee. These diseases that are upon the Egyptians will not be upon you. Isn't that incredible? There is a distinction. There is a division, a separation. Every believer is not only filled with the Holy Spirit, but that power is resonating out of our beings and out of our bodies. This is the supernatural reality of being born again. There's a distinction. We believers are meant to be healed, healthy, and whole. The Bible says, I pray that you will prosper even as your soul prospers. We're meant to be healthy and whole, strong, in every area of our life, our mind, our emotions, which are the internal realms of the soul, and also our physical temples, our physical bodies. Unfortunately, even in America, in the Western church, the sin of gluttony has overtaken us. We eat things, we do things that continue to infirm, deteriorate, and destroy our temples, our bodies. But don't feel condemned or ashamed because God is our healer. He is Jehovah Rapha. There is a distinction being made. Are you healthy and whole, shining and beaming bright with the excellency, the glory of God like Daniel did? Daniel and his three friends? Or are you doomed and gloomed, infirmed and sick? God wants to heal you. And even now today, I declare the healing word. The Bible says, send forth your word and we will be healed. The leader said to Jesus, all you need to do is say the word, the centurion. All you need to do is say the word and my daughter will be healed. Say the word. Here's the word, Jehovah Rapha. He heals you of all your sicknesses, all your diseases, all of your infirmities in your body, in your blood, and even to the cellular level. We destroy cancer. We destroy diabetes. We destroy tuberculosis, arthritis, MS, multiple sclerosis, anything that is infirm, destroyed, damaged your body, your health is of the devil and Jesus destroyed it at the cross and he releases healing virtue. He is the God that he is he. He is the Lord, our healer. He took our sins and he healed your disease. He is the Lord, our healer, Jehovah Rapha. Are you ready to receive the healing of our God? He is the healer. And receive Jehovah Rapha in your heart, in your home, in your family today. In the blood, which speaks a better word, your blood is cleansed. Jehovah Rapha is his name. There will be a distinction made between you, us, the church, and the world. He is our healer.
Receive your healing today. And I want you to comment and testify what the Lord did through this short video. Jehovah Rapha, say that name again. God bless you. And may you receive and manifest the supernatural power and healing virtue of Jesus Christ. If God does not heal, then God is not God at all. This is Dr. Ben Lim. Thank you for watching this video. Jehovah Rapha is his name.